Which of the following is equivalent to the complex number shown above? We have 1 plus i plus i squared plus i to the third plus i to the fourth plus i to the fifth. And they remind us, note, i is equal to the square root of negative 1. And if i is equal to the square root of negative 1, that of course means that i squared is equal to negative 1. And what I'm about to do is a review, and, and if all of this is completely unfamiliar to you, I encourage you to look up the videos on i and imaginary numbers on Khan Academy and on complex numbers. But I'll give a quick review. If i squared, well, let's, let's just think about the different powers of i. So what's i to the first power? Well, anything to the first power is just going to be itself. So that's just going to be i. What's i to the second power? Well, we just saw that. i squared is going to be negative 1. That's the definition of i. Or some people define it that way. Some people would say i is equal to the square root of negative 1. Now, what's i to the third power going to be? Well, that's going to be i to the second power times i. It's going to be i times i times i. We could write it that way. i times i times i. Well, i times i, this right over here, is negative 1. Negative 1 times i, this is going to be equal to negative i. Now what's i to the fourth power? Well, it's going to be i to the third power times i. Well, i to the third power is negative i, and then you multiply that times i. Well, that's going to be the same thing as the negative, we could view this as a negative one, times i times i. Well, what's i times i? That's negative one. So it's going to be the negative negative one, that's going to be positive one. And so what's going to be i to the fifth power? Well, that's going to be i to the fourth power times another i. Well, i to the fourth power we just saw is just 1 times i is equal to i. And we could keep going, and this is one of the fun things about, about the imaginary unit i, is that we see this cycle as we increase the exponent. We do a bunch of examples of this on Khan Academy, but we've gotten all the, all the powers that we care about. So 1 plus i, i squared, this is negative 1, i to the third is negative i, negative i. i to the fourth is one, i to the fourth is one. And then i to the fifth is i. This is i. All right, so we have a one minus one, so this and this are going to cancel out. Then we have an i and a negative i. So i minus i, that's gonna be zero. And all we're left with is a one plus an i. So that's this choice right over there.